The Day the Crayons Came Home Written by Drew DeWalt Illustrated by Oliver Jeffers One day Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago on the couch and your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I would never have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. Can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peace. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as Pea Green. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not, because I am still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after 8 months waiting for you to come and get me, I guess I am walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Hey Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me. After the horrors I have been through, I think I was tan crayon? Or maybe burnt sienna? I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend. Tan. Or possibly burn sienna. Crayon. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon Red Crayon P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan, does page 8 of Pirate Island ring a bell? 
kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you, it would make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky socky stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother. But I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Because was said, every child is an artist. But, I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please, rescue me. Your desperate friend. Big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from Amazon Rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. Hello Duncan, it's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you use me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of the drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. The crayon fort. There's no dogs down there, are they? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period, but it's not really blue, more lilac. I think that door is for us. Ah, there you are. I could use a haircut. Hope there isn't a metal detector. No, I think everyone is welcome. Looks good lads. Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Make sure it's straight. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. 
Question time. Which crayon named himself Esteban the Magnificent? It's the pea green crayon. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe.